Hello and welcome back. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just push right ahead with these awesome features. Okay. When you go into your to your redirect, when you add the title image descriptions, we have um, a WYSIWYG that you can add style to your descriptions. Okay, and it will also be appended to the RS feed description as well. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy with it, you know, bolding and some font colors if you prefer and font sizes, but don't go crazy with it. it you know, it's just a description, right? But basically, we have this as a feature for you to use, okay? All right, so let's uh, continue on here. Now, when you add a redirect image on that sa on, on the same page when you, when you create the redirect, we have this option in here. And, and basically what this is, is, is you can put a URL in here to a graphic or like an e-cover or, or a software box you know it has to be hosted somewhere and you have to put the URL to it and it will use it we have this up here because if you're if you use thumb shots okay the, the, the dot com feature what happens sometimes is like for instance Clickbank I'll use that for an example Clickbank um, has its like the URL that you're promoting is to Clickbank but the product is on the owner's site okay so it, it's like you're doing a redirect to a redirect so thumb shots will take a picture of the wrong page so if you're doing something like that you want to put in the landing URL here of the product page okay and then you turn this on and snap and, and th the thumb shots will use this link as the page for it to take its picture okay so it's it's in there as an added feature all right so uh, let's continue on here now the overlay setup this is really really cool stuff here you can expire it just like the redirect you know add date uh, start date um, and and the end date you can use the WYSIWYG we have a video link here to to using our templates that are included right here is the, is the te is the, is the button you click here you select your template it automatically embeds it into the into the WYSIWYG and then you can edit it do whatever you want and you can save it and you can write your own overlay if you prefer you can put whatever you want put a video in here do whatever you like we have templates that will work with video um, especially YouTube okay you can also if you don't want to use the the WYSIWYG you can uh, actually point it to a URL okay and that URL will be will be pulled into the overlay okay um, obviously if it's a full page a full web page you're gonna have scroll bars on your overlay because it won't fit inside the window uh, but anyway we have that option for you so let's continue on here now here's the overlay page this is at the top. This is the one I just showed you on the, on the previous slide, and this is at the bottom of that page. Okay. Now here's what you can do: you can select a global template. You can save as many as many uh, as many overlays to the global set uh, to the global templates, and they're all going to be listed in here. You select the, select the drop down, click it, and it will automatically be added into the WYSIWYG editor for you to edit and, and save or do whatever you want with. Okay it will automatically pull in that data and then down here is where you have to, uh, this might need some tweaking depending on on the size of this information you put in here you may have to adjust the width and the height and that is why we have a preview button so you can preview it to to make sure it's looking correctly before you before you add the overlay to the redirect you can delay that overlay from showing up once they click the link the overlay will be will come in at 10 seconds five seconds whatever you set this to okay obviously there's instructions here saying one second equals 1000 milliseconds okay so this time in here is in milliseconds here when you click in here okay this is the background color between the overlay and the landing page it, it, it's a very faint color but it just it's, it looks really nice so for instance if your landing URL has a nice red background you're gonna probably want to use a red color if it's blue you might well you're gonna use blue or or you can use any color you want a, 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 like a gray if you prefer okay so you just click here and you click in in this palette here and it will automatically add the color in here and this box will change to the color and it will have the 
hexadecimal uh, color palette number okay as well in here but it will be shaded in the color that you choose all right so that's basically um, all the features of the overlay setup now here's an example of the overlay setup okay I, I, I'm, I'm pulling in a video on YouTube for my plugin and this is this is actually one of your templates and basically um, here's your overlay and you can see how my sales page has a, a tinge of uh, a blue I mean it, it's not you can see how it's kind of got a, a fade to it well that's the color I chose for that redirect which was uh, I'm talking about this color here okay that's the color I chose all right so so basically this is what the day this is what they're going to see they're going to see this page which is my landing URL and the overlay over top okay and you can put gifts in here use your imagination you can put anything in here. you can do it an introduction an overview uh, whatever you prefer you can use this to the full extent okay you can have an opt-in form in here if you want you could have a a add to it to a different product whatever you prefer it's just a fantastic feature it looks very professional and put it to good use okay because we added this uh, to the script at a later date and now you're getting it for the same price okay you're gonna love this feature all right so let's continue on here now stealth redirects I'm gonna explain them here okay the browser address bar shows your redirect this is the redirect to my plugin this is the actual page that's shown in the browser this did that's my plugin page okay or the landing URL but it's not in the address bar the the address bar on the browser shows this link but this is what's in the browser window okay so it sort of hides the landing page and they did they can't find out where this is either so it's an option for you to use I mean if you're trying to hide this page you don't want like uh, for instance a download page even you can use stealth redirects for it because they, they're gonna see this but they're not gonna know where this page is okay so there's many ways you can use these um, um, is there it's there for you to use okay is it I've used it many times as well it's a great little uh, a great little option and you can turn this on globally for all redirects or you can turn it on for a specific redirect so let's continue on now here's your global settings this is for like the bookmarking the blue bar that I showed you that has all the uh, for your for your redirect to go viral you can turn it on for all redirects you can turn on stealth pages for all redirects or you can turn on overlay for all redirects now now how this works basically is you need a default overlay which is done in, in your global overlay you, you can set any one to a default and that will be used on every single redirect so if you have a gift let's say it's your birthday and you want to you want to give everybody um, that you promote you promoted to that day a gift right you can set up a gift in the overlay and we have a, a, a template for that and basically you can turn this on and click submit and then every single link no matter where it is or whatever's in your system will be using this overlay and everybody will have access to your gift and then you can come back here at any time and turn it off you can even have this set all the time and then when you create your redirects you can come in here and there would be if you turn this on there would be another field up here for you to turn it off for this redirect so it would turn off the global setting for overlay there'd be another uh, another checkbox and you just you, you would just check that this is on the specific redirect when you're adding your image title and descriptions okay and you can just click that and turn it off you can change the bookmark bar color right here so th that's where you'll be changing the color um, of that bar okay and you can turn it you can turn on your bookmarks per redirect you can do it globally if you set this globally and submit this would allow you to turn it off it, it, this text will change and it will say turn all global settings for for bookmarking on this redirect and you would just I'm sorry it would be right here 
this text would be replaced and you select this and it would turn it off globally. So even if you have a global setting, you can turn off individual redirects for that setting. Okay, same with stealth page. So that's basically your global settings. And once again, that brings us to the end of this video. So please watch the final video below. Or if you've seen enough, just go ahead and click that payment button and I'll see you on the inside.